So, welcome guys. This is my first talking video, so don't wait a very good English from me. But, anyways, today I'm going to do a review of this multimeter, okay? This is uh, a NGTY T28C multimeter. I think this is the best cheap multimeter that you can buy right now. And so, the box, this is the box that it can with. As you can see, it's a very normal box. It's all in Chinese. So, let's start the review. First of all, uh, I want to say that this is not a, ger a generic brand, okay? As you can see, it has uh, even a, a web page, okay? So, this is not a generic, uh, not branded multimeter. It has some quality on it. Uh, this box have opened it before because this is actually the multimeter that I am using right now. Uh, but I have all the tools and things that it came with. So let's open it up. Uh, it comes obviously with the multimeter, with this plastic box, okay, soft plastic box. Uh, it comes with these uh, measurement pins or, or pencils. So. They are very good quality, it will be show you later. It comes also with a thermistor for temperature measurement, two extra fuses, and two different manuals, one in English and the other one in Chinese. So first of all, I wanted to show you the manuals, okay? As you can see, we have the Chinese one, and the English one. And I like them a lot, okay, I know that no one's read them, but uh, they are pretty good manuals. Uh, they are all well explained and it's useful if you want it. It comes with two 600 milliamps, 250 volts uh, fuses. Uh, this solid works for the low current uh, circuit, okay, they are not 20 amps for the high current circuit, but anyway, it's cool to have a few extra ones. So, this is the thermistor. It's a very good quality thermistor. It actually works pretty well. I used it a few times. Uh, and very good in overall. These are the measurement pens. They are pretty good quality. They have very sharpened tips. And they seem to be stylus. I don't really know, but they are very hard. Also, the they are rated for 20 amps. Let's focus. Yes, they are K3 and European certificated. Pretty good. Also, the cable the cable have uh, good length. That's good. And they seem very. Very secure in overall, pretty good ones. They have also a little protection cap for protecting the tips. Pretty good. And the most important thing, the actual multimeter. This, uh, this is the, the actual multimeter. And the build quality is actually incredibly good for the price, okay? Uh, this is actually a removable case. This is like, uh, I don't know, rubber. It's like some type of hard rubber, but very good in overall. Let me get it out to show you the actual body of the of this. This is a rubber case. As you can see it's pretty good. So this is powered by Four AAA batteries, they are in this little cover. Okay, you can remove this entire cover. And this also have a little support for the for the multimeter. Pretty good in overall, I really like it. Also we have in here, I don't know if, if the camera want to focus. Let's go, focus. I don't know if it's pretty. Let me take this. 
So here we have a lot of indications. The fuse rating, also the battery that is using, um, a few things more, nothing special. Let me mount this again. Uh, also, for changing the, the fuses, we need to remove all the four screws of the body, okay, because they are into the multimeter. You can't replace them with only removing this tape. This is only for the batteries. So, let me set the case on again. I like, really like the case. Okay. Very secure. I, I like it. So, this is the actual multimeter with the rubber case. In the back, we have a mounting hole, uh, a very strong neodymium magnet, two measurement pen supports, the actual multimeter support. The top we have a very powerful flashlight, a non-contact voltage sensor, and in the front we have two LED indicators, a very big uh, screen, you can see, the it's very good screen, it has bad light also. We have two function buttons, this, of the, this one is for function selection and holding. This is an infrared detection sensor. This is a transistor hole testing. Uh, and this is for active, uh, turn on and off the, the screen backlight and also the, the flashlight. We have the selection wheel, okay, and the measurement holes. Uh, also very important for working uh, with this one in the European Union. We have the, the European certification. And that's pretty uh, important for working with this one. So let us start with the actual functions of the multimeter. Uh, this multimeter is using uh, the six uh, a six range scale. Okay, I don't know if I see it well, but basically, uh, it's using six multipliers for different measurements. Instead of two, that is a more standard one. Uh, well, as you can see in the selection wheel, we have first of all DC voltage measurement up to 1000 uh, volts, we have uh, AC voltage up to seven, uh, 750 volts. AC current, okay, up to 20 amps. This current also up to 20 amps. Uh, also, we have the transistor testing and frequency measurement. I need to check uh, how it's the maximum because I don't really use it, uh, but it's very useful, for example, for testing the actual frequency of the, of the power sockets of, of a house. We have Capacitometer, okay. This is for measure, measure, measure the capacitance of the of condensers, con, uh, capacitors. Sorry. Uh, temperature measurement. This is for the thermistor. Uh, diode and continuity measurement, and resistance resistance measurement. Non content voltage uh, sensoring and infrared sensoring. So, as you can see, the screen is very big. Then the actual numbers of the screen are pretty, pretty big. They are very easy to see. And how I say before, if you press this button, okay, once, if you turn off the backlight, let me show you this one better. Uh, also, we have in the top of the screen we have the actual uh, levels. I don't know if you can see it fine. Millivolts, volts, case, kilo ohms, mega ohms. They have a few different uh, ranges. That's good to know. Uh, also, in Diode and continuity sensoring. We have two modes. We have a, a 
diode voltage uh, measurement and also continuity measurement and uh, this is one thing that I really like of this one that is basically let me let me connect the testing pens okay uh, I don't know if you heard it in the camera but uh, this have a buzzer okay that's good we turn out the bad light let me get off the the caps and we have a likes uh, indicator okay that's pretty useful I like it so let us start with the special function of this multimeter and uh, they are acquired so first of all we have the infrared uh, sensor this uh, can be so useful but uh, sometimes it is uh, and a lot for example let me turn off the bad light uh, I have this remote controller okay this is from a television um, for example you, you don't know if it's working or something like that it's that simple it's uh, you only press it to the sensor you aim to the sensor and it flashes when it's receiving a infrared light it can be very useful for example if you want to know if there you have battery in a remote control if broken or something and very useful the second special function is the non-contact voltage sensor this is very useful for example when you need to check if there are uh, current in a power socket without using the testing pens and yeah for example I have here let me try to, to show you let me throw, do tune out I have here the my working light okay and if you basically get closer to the to the power side it shows you that there is that there is voltage and it has two different uh, power measurements I don't know if you, if you can see the actual indication lights it have two a green one and a red one and depends if you are closer or not it's get red or green very useful also so the next one is the capacimeter okay uh, for example I have here a 100 microfarads capacitor if let's focus here we have it it's that simple you only measure the the cap the capacitor capacitor pins you wait a few seconds and here we have it turn out 103 microfarads it's a uh, very accurate I really like it it works very well you need to wait a few seconds for working properly but it works pretty well and you avoid to buy a, another cap capacimeter we have also the temperature measure and you need the uh, actual thermistor you connect it in the right side and well for example I touch the thermistor and it's also very acquired let me turn out the bad like you can see it works pretty well so for using the flashlight it's very easy you only need to press it the press the fla the light button for two seconds and it's a pretty powerful light for the sizes if you press it again it's going to turn off uh, but if you keep the light uh, power on for like one minute it's going to turn off automatically it happens the same with the backlight of the screen it will turn off like 50 seconds after you turn it on this multimeter have a very interesting feature that is basically that uh, after 15 minutes of turn it uh, on it will turn off automatically okay you can see it you have in the screen 
in the left corner this little symbol that means that the auto power off is uh, enabled but you can disable by doing this turn off the multimeter and turn it off keeping the function button okay you turn the red wheel and it beeps for four or five times and as you can see the symbol have disappeared that means the uh, actual multimeter is going to keep uh, power on up to you, you turn it off again it's not going to power off automatically that's good so what are the conclusions of this multimeter uh, I was using it for like one year and I think this is the best that you can buy for $20 or euros I buy it uh, from Spain okay ship, shipping from Spain for 17 uh, euros that's a very cheap price and you can also buy it in even uh, cheaply in China or something like that but how I say the quality that you get for the price is incredible uh, it looks very professional it works pretty good it's very accurate because I have uh, compared with a lot more expensive ones and it's works pretty pretty nice so hope you like it and uh, subscribe if you want more reviews like this uh, sorry if I <laughs> if my English is not very good but I am uh, an Spanish uh, speaker and English is not my normal language so anyways hope you like it and see you later